ifs. No buts. No new runways. No ifs. No buts. No new runways. No ifs. No buts. No new runways. Um, hi, my name's Richard. I'm part of Throw Heat Throw. Um, we are an environmental project and, and community space um, and also a long-term occupation against the third runway based in one of the Heathrow villages. Um, we're outside Cork today because uh, the main landowner uh, of the site is, uh, is trying to get a possession order to get us off the land. Um, we feel we've done so much positive work um, in the area. We've made a really positive use of the land, put on workshops, events for the last seven years, brought hundreds of people through. Um, we've been supporting the campaign against the third runway, which would be an absolute disaster for the local area. Um, so we want to carry on doing that. Um, the landowner doesn't have um, planning permission for the land. It's been rejected at every stage. So until they can come up with um, a plan uh, that will actually benefit um, the local community and meet their needs and not um, cause yet more negative uh, environmental impacts, um, we want to carry on doing what we're doing. Um, this is a really pivotal year um, in the campaign against the third runway. The government has kind of given an amber light to the third runway. It still needs to be voted on by parliament. Um, so we want to continue supporting that campaign and uh, yeah, growing food, having a renewable energy system, having a space for groups to come and use. Um, so yeah, come and, come and, come and see us um, in Sipson near Heathrow um, and wish us well in court. Hi, I'm Emma. Um, I've been living at Grow Heathrow since January of 2016. Um, and over seven years ago now, the land was being used as a dumping ground. We cleared over 40 tons of rubbish off of the site um, and we've been growing food which we've shared for free with the local community. Um, we've really increased biodiversity in the area. It would be a shame if the land went back to being a dumping ground. The owner doesn't have any plans for it. Um, we do. So as we're moving forward, I hope everyone will support us um, in our struggle to kind of save the historic villages, um, Sipson, Harmonsworth, and some of the other areas, um, and try to use the land for sustainable purposes and not um, a wasteful third runway that would end up causing more air pollution. Children already are having to wear face masks to school to protect them from air pollution on some of the worst days. We don't want London to become like China. Um, let's invest in spaces like Row Heath Row um, instead of turning them over to yet more waste, environmental pollution and profit. Thanks. Hello, I'm Jesse and I've been at Grow Heath Row for about two years. Um, I first got involved with the protest out of solidarity with the local community and also interested in finding out about the, you know, how I could change and affect the problems which affect us on a daily basis. Things like pollution, things like the destruction of the, the environment. And at this point, Heathrow Airport is one of the biggest problems in that field. Uh, if Heathrow is expanded, there will be more pollution than we could, you know, we've had so far. And it's already, we're a pollution black alert. And like, you know, we're, we're, we're just saying, hey, you, good, you know, you have to wear face masks if you want to go outside. Uh, don't cycle unless unless you have a cover, you have a, a covering your nose, you know. They're, they're, really, they're telling us on certain days that it's, it's serious pollution warning. And yet we want to expand Heathrow Airport. And not only that, but currently the occupation which is in place to support the community in protest against that is under threat. This is the court case that we have today going against this. Whether it will get adjourned or whether some magic will happen, I don't know. I'm, I, I, I seriously doubt that there will be any legal magic will occur at which they'll just say, yes, you can have the land. But what, what this means is that in the coming weeks and months, we're going to require you know, people. We're going to require support. We're going to require solidarity. There's, there, 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 there are, there are, it's quite a large movement, but the more people get involved now, the better chance we have of actually challenging this at its key point. So that's all I say. Aviation kills.